Good morning. Christmas is coming and my phrase from the carol Hark the Herald Angels Sing is Christ the Everlasting Lord. I'm happy to get this phrase because it's such a beautiful one and it reminds us that Jesus lasts forever. And uh, my reading this morning comes from Psalm chapter 10 verses 16 and 17. The Lord is king forever and ever. The nations will perish from his hand. You, Lord, hear the desire of the afflicted. I really feel that's a verse for now. Sometimes we use this phrase, nothing good ever lasts forever. And uh, in some ways that's true. But actually, for those of us who love and follow Jesus, not just as the baby in the cradle, but as our King and our Lord, we know that that phrase is not true because Jesus is good and he does last forever. The 15th of December is 10 days before Christmas. And I guess in the middle of December, Christmas is, uh, is getting bigger and bigger in our hearts and minds every day. We look forward to it with anticipation and excitement. But 10 days after Christmas is the 3rd of January. And by the 3rd of January, the, the needles are falling off the Christmas tree. And somehow Christmas feels like a distant memory. It, it's quite fleeting in a way. But of course, Jesus, who is the central figure of Christmas, uh, is, is eternal. He's still just as big and just as present on the 3rd of January as he is on the 15th of December. So this morning, there are just three little handles that I'd love you to take hold of this Christmas time. Uh, and, and I trust that you'll still be able to hold on to those handles to steady yourself as you go on into January. The first is this. We know that because Jesus lasts forever, he is our eternal rock. In Isaiah chapter 26, verse 4, it says, Trust in the Lord forever. For the Lord, the Lord himself, is the rock eternal. And, and you know, when we look at rocks in our world, we can see something that lasts a long time. But actually, even the rocks will eventually get worn away and disappear. And Jesus will still be there. He's the rock in our lives. He's unchanging goodness. This world has changed so much in the last few months. And circumstances in our own lives change all the time. And some of them are very unexpected. But we know at the center of that, Jesus is our eternal rock. The second thing is that as followers of Jesus, knowing that he's our rock, he has also given us eternal, forever life. So we read in Jude chapter 21, uh, verse 21, should I say, there's only one chapter in Jude. And I love this from the Passion Translation. It says there, fasten your hearts to the love of God and receive the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ, who gives us eternal life. Another thing that lasts forever because of Jesus. And this eternal life isn't just something we look forward to in the future. Our eternal life is something that is a gift to us now because of that baby in the manger, because of that Jesus who 33 years later hung on the cross for us. We have eternal life and it's a gift for us and it starts now and goes on forever into the future. And the third handle that we can hold on to is that we have a forever and eternal family to belong to. Sometimes we think of that phrase uh, that children who are looking for adoption are looking for a forever family. And that's something that they long for and dream of because God has created us to be in families. And the wonderful truth is this, that when we come to Jesus, when he becomes our Lord and Saviour, 
then at that moment we're adopted into the family of God. We become children of God. We become sons of God. And that lasts forever. And the scripture here is a beautiful scripture. It reminds us of this truth from Ephesians chapter 1. It says that he chose us in him before the creation of the world, before the creation of the world, to be holy and blameless in his sight, in love. He predestined us for adoption to sonship. So before God made the world, he knew about you and me. He knew he had got us on his adoption list. He had got us prepared to be welcomed into his family. So there was a beginning to that, in a sense. That day when we received Christ into our lives was the day when we were adopted. But there's no end to it. We stay in that family forever. God will remain our father. Jesus will remain our saviour, even our brother. So going back to that line, Christ, the everlasting Lord. God bless you today. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you that you have chosen us to be your children. Thank you that we have a rock that we can stand on to, that we can hold on to in the midst of all that happens in the circumstances that we see around us. Thank you that you'll be there for us on the 3rd of January in just the same way as you're there on the 15th of December. 